The story we're looking at today, and there are a number of stories flying around about this, and I, I, it is worthy of debate and it's certainly got you engaged, is, and I'm just going to recap it because I do pe want people to know precisely what we're talking about. On the Māori Party's website, and there it's, uh, I think, Health, Sport, Recreation, Wellness Policy, is the following statement. It is a known fact that Māori genetic makeup is stronger than others. David Seymour, leader of the ACT Party, came across that statement a month or so ago and wrote to the Race Relations Commissioner saying he thought it was racist and it should be investigated. Yesterday, in frustration in Parliament, he stood up and told his tale of, well, of frustration with Meng Foon, the Race Relations Commissioner, who doesn't seem, or we don't know precisely what Meng Foon has done in reaction to what appears to be, prima facie, a very racist statement from a political party that is represented in Parliament. And as of this morning, that statement, it is a known fact that Māori genetic makeup is stronger than others, is still on the website. Um, I'm very pleased to say that Ming Fung, the Race Relations Commissioner, is engaging with us, and he joins us uh, on the line now. Ming, thank you very much indeed for your time this morning at short notice. Morning, morning, Sean, is it? Yeah. Kia ora. Kia ora. All right. Um, have you done anything? Well, first, first, let's get to it. Do you believe that that's a racist statement? Well, it's um, a thing that we do not condone, people making those statements. Um, so we believe it is um, racist. So you say it other, is a racist statement. If any other group of people said that, they would be labelled racist. So I've got to be even-handed. Okay, so it's a racist statement. Um, so you're in agreement with David Seymour on that. Have you, being alerted to this, what, about four weeks ago, have you done anything about that racist statement which is published on the official webpage of a political party that is represented in the New Zealand Parliament, therefore has some weight? Yep, we... we um David Seymour wrote to us and uh, we said we were going to meet with the Māori Party to indicate our um, dissatisfaction of this particular statement. Um, but I know that um, probably there's a, another agenda in terms of the, the inequities of sporting um, allocation of funding. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's, uh, well, you're not involved. You're not the Commissioner of Sport, Ming, with the greatest of respect. So let's stick to the issue, shall we? Carry on. Okay. So, yes, you say it's a racist statement. Yes, David Seymour contacted you. Have you had any response from the Māori Party? Have you approached them? Have you had a discussion with them? We have approached them. There has been no response yet, and our team is endeavouring to make a time for us to see them. So four weeks on, you are trying to set up a meeting? Uh, probably, yeah. If it's that been that long, time flies. We've took, there's been mm. two letters from uh, David Seymour. OK, and how many letters from you to the Māori Party? One. One, okay. And how long ago was that seen? Probably two or three weeks ago. Okay. So you have not regarded this as a high priority? Well, we, we regard it as a high priority, but we've still got to wait for the other party mm. to respond. That's funny, you know, Ming. For the other party to respond. With the greatest of respect, Ming, you seem prepared at the drop of, the, of a hat in the news media to criticise people for being racist or potentially racist without talking to them. But it, when it comes to the Māori Party, and many would say, Ming, when the boot is on the other foot, you seem far more reluctant to get directly involved. I might have expected, to be honest, a press release from this when you got the thing from Seymour calling on the Māori Party not to say racist things. Well, normally I um, call people out when people like yourself or other media outlets ring up. Otherwise, we have a, another process that we do approach people to talk about their issues. All right, fair enough. Now that it is in the public domain, and I think largely due to Mr Seymour's uh, frustration, will you call now, here and now, for the Māori Party to remove 
what we or you now describe as a racist statement from their party's website. Yeah, that's what we were going to uh, see them about if they would actually remove that particular statement. And I'm giving you the opportunity to ask them to do that publicly now as you're a public official. Yeah, I would ask, would like to ask the Māori Party to really remove that particular statement. I think many New Zealanders would say good on you, Ming. And if they don't, what can we do about it? Um, well, we can just continue to call people out. All right. Um, we don't, there's no, no legislation, there's freedom of speech. Um, mm. So that's, that's the state at the moment. All right. Look, the other thing, the other issue that has risen, and if you are not briefed on it and, and aware of it, I can understand why. Um, Kelvin Davies' comments about Karen Chua, who is a Māori MP for the ACT Party, questioning him on Oranga Tamariki and was told, uh, Kelvin Davies told her in Parliament that she wasn't basically Māori enough and she wasn't in a position because she wasn't Māori enough by way of her whakapapa or her upbringing, sorry, her cultural upbringing that she really shouldn't be asking questions. Do you consider that in the context of race relations in this country a constructive response? I think the important thing for um, everybody is actually to um, be able to hold people to account without fear or favour, um, to actually debate the issues and not the people. Um, that is our line right through. And we have um, ensured that during local body elections and central government elections that politicians and media and anyone actually just deal with the issues and yeah. not the people of whatever ethnicity, religious beliefs they are. Um, so that's what we would advise. You will be criticised, Ming. You already are, I guess, um, for saying that it's OK for Māori to be racist. Has that ever been your position? And is it true? No, no, I've never said it's okay for Māori to be racist. Um, it's important that we're all respectful of each other yep. and that we actually debate the issues of the day. Mm. Do you wish you'd maybe moved a bit quicker on this complaint from ACT? Because I'm thinking this could have been dealt with without ever reaching the public I arena. I think we responded to um, act appropriately and uh, we said that we were going to meet with the Māori Party to discuss the issue. Yeah. Four weeks to even set up a meeting, though, that seems a long time. Ming, I've got to say I thank you very much for coming on this morning. I think you've been completely unambiguous in your responses um, and I hope that you do get that meeting and one would hope, in fact, that the Māori Party are listening and they would take that statement down. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you. That is Ming Foon, the Race Relations Commissioner. He wasn't gilding the loony there. He says, yeah, this is racist. So it's kind of official now because Ming Foon's the guy who very quickly will tell you if something's racist. Um, just seems a little bit slower to respond to this one than other ones.